If we move right again by a stride of one on the input, then now we are on this three by three block of input here that we perform a convolution operation using the filter, which results in an output value of two. Again, this positive output value in this case is indicative that our filter detected a top edge again, now on this block of input. So first it detected a top edge right here. And then when we moved right by a stride of one, the filter now has detected the top edge right here. We'll now skip ahead to look at the final output from this filter. So by convolving this eight by eight input image with this three by three top edge filter, we get this final six by six output. Now we just mentioned that everywhere in the output space that we have a positive value, that that is indicative that the filter detected a top edge in the input. Similarly, everywhere we have a negative value in the output is where the filter detected the opposite of a top edge, which would be a bottom edge. We actually have this diagram exemplifying this here. So where we have the positive values as we said, that is indicative that the filter detected a top edge. Negative values in the output are indicative that the filter detected a bottom edge in the input. And where we have zeros, we have the filter detecting no top nor bottom edges in the input.